Everybody wants great shoulders. Whether you're male or female, a set of well-developed deltoids greatly enhances your physique. So why is it then that so many people struggle when it comes to shoulder development, despite hitting shoulders at the gym frequently? Today, I'm gonna to give you two tips that if you implement consistently will help change your physique and help develop your shoulders. First, it's important to understand that the shoulders three heads, the anterior, medial, and posterior, all play a role in giving your shoulder region that look that you want. But it's the medial head, the one down the middle, that's mainly responsible for the broad shoulder look that you're after. When done correctly, dumbbell lateral raises is a great exercise to hit and stimulate the medial head. Now, with that in mind, realize that the principle of whatever muscle is on top is the muscle doing the work comes into critical play here. Now, what I mean by this is if you're performing the exercise and effectively keeping your medial head facing up to the ceiling, keeping it on top, chances are that it's the one taking the majority of the workload and in turn receiving the stimulus for growth. Sounds straightforward, right? But what so many people don't realize is that either right from the start of the set or as they fatigue through the set, they end up dropping their elbows. Now if the elbows drop, your arm will rotate. Your anterior, your front deltoid will move around to take top position, therefore shifting a good percentage of the load over into the anterior deltoid instead. Keep your elbows high and pay attention in the mirror. Be sure you don't let the stronger front deltoids take over the lift. Next, understand that what muscle group engages first will take the biggest percentage of the lift. Now, if you're performing this exercise correctly, the only point of movement is at the shoulder joint. The medial deltoid head is the first point to fire and contract, but so many lead this exercise with the stronger, more dominant traps. So many people start this exercise with a shrug to get the weight moving, followed then by shoulder abduction. Problem here is because your traps engaged first before your medial shoulder heads did, your body wants to complete the movement keeping the biggest percentage of the load in the traps and a minimal amount in the shoulders. Now it's a great way to build traps, not so great for building those shoulders. So instead, be sure that when you start each rep, that you actually picture your shoulder joint being pushed down to the floor, which in turn starts the shoulder engagement and starts the lift. Keep the traps out of your lift and keep your elbows high. Do those two things effectively and consistently and your shoulders will have no choice but to respond with growth. I'm Tyron Bell and I'll see you in the next one.